Okay, and we're home. Tell us. Eivor? Swanbro, I... No. God, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, God! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, God! I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. So we still going after um We still going after Alfred or is that that? I don't know. Oh, I actually have no idea. Ah, oh, look at you, Chewie. There you are. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. Huh? Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest, a village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassam feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. I've boiled the Ravenclad Mercia. The orders of the ancients all but destroyed, and your good work in England are all but complete. One heathen yet remains, the Grand Magister of this contemptible order. Should you wish to finish your work, come to the Athelney in the northwest Hamptonshire, and we will discuss the means by which you may find the last list target. Blessing upon you, poor fellow soldier of Christ. Okay. Let's report to Banvi as we're here, though. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Hamptonshire has fallen, and with it, the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest, then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. One thing, but you have not seen all the wonders of this world. Explore further to keep yourself going. Upgrade your settlement and store hunt. Complete the hidden content in England, Norway, and beyond. I want to see the Alliance map. I think I. Yeah, well, <laughs> the Alliance map's done, though. In total, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 18, about 19 different I areas. have changed my mind. I should go. So, no point do we get to go take out Alfred, but I guess his saga was never said that Eivor killed him, was it, I assume? Alright, one last thing to do.
believe this is going to conclude our story. Whether I'll have to fight him or whether he'll simply just be a bloke and he's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm in charge of all of it. How are you? What? You? Ha! I really feel like this was a really crappy side venture. Taking out the orders of the ancient, you know, in the la in Odyssey they were like the main plot, weren't they? They were like these are the guys, these are the guys that have set this all up. Like, for the main story and everything. Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that'd be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. Soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. They're uh, small things, the size hell? of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then, I'll leave you to this. What if you need you me, I'll here? be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself. As this poor soldier of Christ. I really thought we'd As I remember, it you him. even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. Ah, that's what it was. The order wanted me dead. Letter. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. Ah, I can't wars attack have him. ended, and my settlement thrives. Oh, okay, the fine. wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat uh, nourishing peace. Each morning I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Otis Grand Magister? 
Me! Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. It... It was you. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. Was a good With Goodwin, one. I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? <laughs> Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. Peace. I'm here. He's not a bad guy, he just got pushed into a position that he didn't even want. Hmm. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Grand Maester Alfred, the father. Young Alfred was just 22 years old when the title of the father passed to him from his brother Aether Red, conferring a, conferring a great responsibility which their father had introduced to the family. A devout Christian since his youth, Alfred rankled at the heathenish beliefs of the Order. He now commanded and concocted a grand plan that would rid them, rid him of that responsibility once and for all. Wow. Amazing. Just that. Go oh dear, oh dear. Look at them little balls of soot. Help! Good lady, forgive me. I was lost in thought. <laughs> no matter. Just let <gasps> Oh my cool god, he's just running. Bye, King. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Have a good life, King Alfred. Uh, apart from being probably having brain damage. Right, let's go have a look at um Alfred's study. Oh, what's going on there? Why can't I do that then? I'm making a mistake. Okay. Forced to ride there. That's what I'm yeah. forced to enjoy these credits. Well, not credits, but this music. 
I'm nearing the Avon River at Uthentune. This was where Alfred set the battle with Upa took place. Upa. So Alfred spoke true. May you join your brother, old friend, wherever he found his final peace. Rest well, my friend. And I look at Leia's body to rest. That's crazy. No! Ooh, look, it's forcing me to go to um, check out sure. study. done we can and I think we'll better go collect a few items as well No, it's here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. He twelly off of the wastelander! Ah yeah, this is it. This is it, Alfred's study. What secrets has he kept hidden away? 
Here for just boys and men to report on a curious development, a faction of Norse recently joined the brothers Ivar, when sells for salt and Hamworth, disposing King Bungren and installing a foolish King Thane, who was in his stead, and following these Norse back to their settlement, your men discovered the presence of a hidden one among the pagans who calls himself Hytham. He seems in rather good graces with the two chieftains of this clan, Sigurd and Ivor. And as yet his motives remain unclear, but it may be we can put him to use of our own. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ already sent word of the Order's activities to the luminaries of England's major cities. It may be a well-timed letter to Haytham, and then he's commanding with speed along our plans to be your faithful servant, Reeve Goodwin. <laughs> Oh, I awoke this morning thinking of Alcyon's final letter to Charlemagne, written in fear that the orders corrupted all but his master, then dead a week later. Did Charlemagne know had the order <laughs> corrupted him as well? Did he order the holy man's death, or did the great emperor not see this letter at all? Long ago I asked my father how this extraordinary document came into his possession. He had no answer for me. I feared the worst. Then as I do now, outwardly Charmin was a Prius defender of Christ's word. It seems impossible to believe he was under the sway of this corrupt cult. But the Order is expert at hiding its motives. It has stooped to using the Christ words and the Holy Book as a front for its blasphemous goals before. And the appearance of piety is all too easy to manufacture. Hoist the Bible aloft on the steps of a church and claim... Divine inspiration, I must be vigilant against such villains. The Order of Ancient argues for a hierarchy that flies in the face of God's purpose. If you men and women as debased and corrupt, born of evil intent, yet they worship men they believe were their makers, akin to a hammer loving the nail they cannot see outside their own hermetic system, they are not wrong to believe that there must be order in the world but for peace to flourish, but they are wrong about the source of this order. Man was made in the image of God. God is the source of the universe's order, therefore man need appeal only to God for guidance. In strange irony, I am grateful for the Danes and their invasion of Northumbria. My title should have gone to Ayla. Being dead, it fell to my brother and then to me. God's unlikely gift. I will use it to destroy what I loathe so deeply about the sickening order and start afresh. Goodwin is with me. As are men on the continent, I will soon find others. The Order often blesses their pagan creators, what they call the Father of Understanding, the Mother of Wisdom, the Sacred Voice. These are vile blasphemies. There is only one Father of Understanding. He is the Lord above. He is Order Incarnate. Therefore, may the Father of Understanding be this and naught else. The invisible hand that plucks harmony from the strings of the universe. Nothing more. Let all remaining pagan blasphemies within wither into dust. Henceforth, I aim to improve our lot by harmonizing the average man with the order of the universe, to walk him down a quiet road, to lead him to safe and sober thoughts, to quiet his mind and cool his impassioned heart. Be he God-fearing or godless, the new order will encompass all and seek to improve man by aligning his knees with the ebb and flow of nature itself. This is my hope. This is my vow. Amen. Rantings and ravings not unlike full case delusions. Is there more to all this than I understand? Holy David, an urgent word from Phylactus. Phylactus, when I last we spoke I warned you of a rot that I feared was eating at the healthy, still young flesh of our holy church. Today I am more convinced that than ever that something drastic must be done. I have lately confirmed that there exists a group of men and women within our church who belong to a parasitic order of heathens, men and women who wish for nothing less than the perversion of our God's word. As lice upon a loyal hound, they scurry about unseen, using our resources for purposes in opposition to our Saviour's plan. In the past year, I have gleaned what I could about the beliefs of these vile usurpers who call themselves the Order of the Ancient. Here are but a few of their disturbing ideas. They believe that mankind was created not by the Lord God, but by lesser and imperfect gods, variously called Isu, Archons, or Nephilim. In their various unholy texts, it's in this way they follow the unholy heresies of the Gnostic sect that flourished in the years before the Nicene Creed. They refuse the message of the Christ and his redemptive act of sacrifice. They disbelieve in sin and salvation and seek only knowledge and power. 
which they believe will free their spirit in the final days. They believe mankind is a lesser form of life, imperfect in the shadow of these lesser gods, and that it is mankind's sole duty to aspire to the example of these lesser gods. The obsession with these ancient ones has led them to make a fetish of diabolical artifacts, which they believe will give them power and righteous cause over their fellow men. These devil tools I have not s I have not seen for myself, but I have observed their effect on a few. Most blasphemous of their beliefs is perhaps this. They believe many of these lesser gods will still walk the earth or may return one day in resurrected forms. Some they believe are continually reborn. These they call sages. Others seem to appear once only once only and never again. Whether they believe the Lord Jesus Christ to be such a one, I have yet to determine, but their literature is full of re references to such beings. All this I know to be true. In light of this gathering darkness, I urge swift and violent action, my Lord, for the reach of this all to be vast and their power insidious. Be thou a soldier for our Christ. Only a sustained campaign of eradiction will end their advance. Heed my words with care and wisdom, noble Chamberlain. And may the Lord God thee exalt thee and make thee enter the glory of his blessed and everlasting vision. Your faithful servant, Alcinaria, enter may it do for thee. What is that? It's time to head back. I think we pretty much smashed it. I'm gonna go get Odin's spear and Molnir, and um, I think we that uh, we call it a session. We've finished. The game is done until the DLCs a bit. I may do some um, live streams where I do some of the hunting side quests and the uh, fishing quests but apart from that I think we're pretty much wrapping up I couldn't believe Odin's spear I've just looked it up is actually on the left hand side when you first go into that cave with Sigurd like what was I meant to know one more and only because you all have such good taste we got, now, we got loads of little quests going on. What's that all about? Forge in the flame. Can I'm pretty wish to be married? The Raven Clan has much to say. Well, that's how I end it then. A long time ago at a desert oasis. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. For they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls the Universal Order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the Order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there, and you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here. Including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. It's all done then, isn't it? Ah, codex I have pages. to go. Then go in peace. Okay. Oh, okay. This one begins the and I have no idea where they all are. Someone will have to look for. Um, let's put this cape on. And 
There it is, Thor's cape. Place of mystery, wonder, and a temple. Okay. 